My pencil, I need my pencil. Oh, hey, <laughs> sorry, video's not ready yet. I'm doing research right now, but you know what? You're here, so we might as well talk about it. Manipulation, it's a real thing. Could be happening to some of you right now, and I'm glad you kicked and I'm glad you clicked on this video because just for $9.99, I'm gonna give you all of the greatest advice that any of you will need out there to make sure that you're not being manipulated by your friends, family members, or other people. But you know what? Just for you today, just because you clicked on this video, I'm gonna offer you a special deal. And that deal is you just gotta watch this quick sponsor and then we're just gonna get right into it. So roll the, the, the sponsor. Hey guys, I'm excited to say that we've got From Japan as our sponsor once again in today's video. If you didn't see my previous video talking about From Japan, allow me to rewind in time and show you guys what From Japan is all about. Rewind time! From Japan is a proxy shopping service that allows you to buy exclusive products from Japan that you normally wouldn't have access to. You can use them to buy from Japanese online stores and even get deals on popular Japanese auction sites where you can bid in real time. And I use From Japan to get this hat and shirt from Bape. Bape is one of Japan's most iconic streetwear brands and with the help of From Japan services will help you find rare items and that also includes Japanese exclusive Bape products. And guys, From Japan is so easy to use and there are several ways to shop with them. If you already know the item you want, all you have to do is paste the URL into their search bar and you can add it directly to your cart. And their customer service team is bilingual, so they can answer your questions about the product and even help you track down specific items through their Find It For Me service. Of course, you can also explore their website to find thousands of items from popular Japanese online retailers like Rakuten, Zozo Town, and Surugaya. And I also want to let you guys know From Japan gave me a code here on the screen that can be used for all of us. The first 500 viewers who go over there using that code will get their basic forwarding plan or buyer's protection plan free. And a little recommendation from your boy, I recommend you go with the buyer's protection plan, which includes domestic shipping insurance, international insurance, plus item inspection, and repackaging at their warehouse. So if you're interested in any of this, I'm going to put all the details down in the description below. Now, let's get into today's video. I'll admit, this room is going to probably change around quite a few times in the coming months, but that's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with change, and what's better than not having a green screen and just kind of using a real, actual background? Could you do this in a green screen, folks? Could you do this? Could you, could you do this? Could you, could you do this? Could you, could you move stuff around like this? Huh? Could you get Tim Hortons? I mean, maybe. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another Fear Razor video. It's been a while. It's been some time since I've actually stood in front of the camera and just decided to have a little chat with you that was not about me talking about personal stuff because, well, today I have something that might be personal in your lives. And what is that? That is knowing if you are being manipulated or not. So guys, manipulation, if you don't know what manipulation is, and if you're under 15, then I'm, that's okay. If you're above the age of 15 though, you should know this. Most of the time manipulation happens when somebody tries to essentially take advantage of you, tries to take over yourself, over your life, by using certain psychological tactics that actually kind of go back onto you. You know, you make decisions that are essentially being depicted and manipulated from thus person. And it's a, it can be a very broad spectrum. But the main point is it's not a great thing, okay? Being manipulated by other people, especially when you're not, when you're unknowing of it, is it sucks and it can be terrible and it can be really stressful, anxiety induce, inducing and all that kind of stuff. So guys, in this video today, I just want to talk a little bit about certain things that people do to manipulate others. And you know, from these things that I'm going to talk about, you yourself might be able to take a look at some of the situations you're in and perhaps reflect to see if you are being manipulated yourself. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So guys, one of the first things to look for in people who could be manipulating you is passive aggressiveness. 
So essentially, you're hanging with someone and, you know, they do something or you do something they don't like and they don't respond in a, a very pleasant manner. But you see a lot of passive aggressive tendencies and they're not pleasant and it's not hard to spot them usually. You know, it seems like the person's annoyed with you, frustrated with you over something that's very minuscule, really not necessary. But in, they, they, kind of, they kind of turn it around in a way that you're in the wrong for doing something. And it, it's, it's annoying, right? It's annoying. Like, I personally am like, if you got a problem with me, then you better say it to my face. This face, this beautiful succulent face. So we can, you know, deal with the problem, get over with, you know? So another thing that manipulators do is they make your problems feel small. So I actually had this happen to me when I was, uh, I had some friends that I'm not friends with anymore, but essentially there was a time I was going to university and my cat had gotten sick. And you know, I'm very close to my pets and my cat, he actually was poisoned. He was accidentally poisoned. My, somebody had come to the house, a uh, relative, and accidentally put dog flea uh, flea repellent or something on by on the cat by accident which if you didn't know some are lethal and poisonous and deadly uh, I mean that's what lethal is but you, you get what I'm saying so my, my cat was like having like spaz attacks and stuff and he's fine now he's fine the, the morning that it happened I was going to school and I was freaking out I had to go to school my friends picked me up and then as we were going to school I was very clearly visually not okay and uh, when they asked me what was wrong I had told them, and they were just like, okay, happens, big deal. Literally, literally in that tone. So people who manipulate, they really try to make your problems feel small. And who knows best than the very person who is you. Sorry, I'm like burping while I'm talking, it's gross. There's no one else that can tell you how big or small your problems are. Only you can know that for yourself. And I mean, when you know something is very important, such as, you know, let's say in my example, your pet that is sick and needs to go to the vet, uh, you know, if they, if they try to make your problems feel small and like they don't matter, then they're, you know, they're not good people. It's the sign of manipulation and it's not something you wanna be around. Real friends don't do that, guys. Real friends, and, and I'm saying this right now, this isn't scripted, real friends do not make you feel like you don't matter. You know, real friends actually care about you, they care about your opinions, they care about what, what it is that makes you tick and what, what goes on in your life, okay? And if you don't have that in your friends, then I really sincerely think you should take a step back and start actually looking at your friend group. Because sometimes you hang out with people that you don't think is, are bad, but they kinda are. So I'm gonna leave it off with that there. So the next thing, guys, is is gaslighting. Yes, I'd look at my phone. So do you know what gaslighting is? Gaslighting's terrible. It's a very, very terrible manipulative tactic where essentially, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the Google term real quick because I, I don't know how I, I can define this. So gaslighting is essentially to manipulate somebody by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. So imagine you're hanging with somebody, right? And you had a conversation about something and then, you know, uh, like a month later, the person you had this conversation with starts saying that you said things that you didn't actually say, but because it happened so long ago and you don't remember it, you're there kind of questioning yourself while this person knowingly is just saying that you said these things you didn't say. Did that, was that as confusing as it sounds? Because I, I feel like I could explain that better. Gaslighting is a really terrible thing. You see it a lot in relationships and it's just essentially people kind of twisting things that actually happened and didn't happen onto somebody, making them actually second guess themselves. So like imagine a situation happens and, and the manipulative person says, oh, you said these things, but in reality you didn't, but you don't remember the conversation and then you're like, well, maybe I did say those things and let's just say they were bad things, right? So that's the problem with, with gaslighting is that you know, they bring up a certain situation or they bring up certain things that make you question yourself. And it's really dangerous and it's really bad. You see it a lot in relationships. If that's happening to you, then get out of that relationship, okay? It's not great. I bet you I can play guitar. Yeah! yeah! There was a point to that, okay? <laughs> Another thing that manipulators do is they constantly make you try and prove yourself. Now, I know you didn't try and make me prove myself by playing guitar, that was more me proven to you. But imagine, you know, you hang out with a friend who every single time you say something, you always need 
to prove it to them, almost as if they just don't believe in you. Whether that be facts, whether that be opinions, whether that be a situation that happened to you. Let's say, let's say you had a really uncomfortable experience downtown one day. You, you walked by some dude and he sort of like he got in your face. And he's like, Wah! and it happens. It happened to me. And let's say you tell your friend that, and he's like, sure, sure it did. We'll prove it. Well, how did it happen? Show me. You know, like, like prove it, prove it. You know, how are you gonna prove that? But, you know, when you're talking with your friends and stuff, they, they are called friends for a reason, right? And friends do not do that to you. I mean, like, when I'm having a casual conversation with my friends, I'm not, like, constantly trying to, like, push them over the edge, you know? That's not how it should go, and people who manipulate do these tactics, even once in a while, uh, when they're really not necessary. Now, I understand proving something that's very serious and important, but through random banter and that kind of stuff, I mean, this should not be happening. Especially if you're hanging out with some friends and you constantly feel like you're being like a punching bag or a target for uh, always having, always getting questioned, right? And that's a problem. And that's a sign of manipulation. So there you go. You know what? And I'm, I'm gonna end this off with saying one last thing. So just one other thing a lot of manipulators do is they like to act like they're joking. They're like, oh, dude, I'm just like, calm yourself, dude. Like, chill out, bro. Like, it's nothing, bro. Just chill. I was joking. This, this is such an easy tactic that people who manipulate fall back on, especially if you uh, react and respond to thus manipulation. And let's say you're very aware of what's happening. they be like, bro, bro, chill, chill. Because you're friends and being friends, friends here, you know, quotations, and you try to cover up your tracks really quick, being like, oh, da, 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 I didn't mean it. Da, 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 da. I don't, I don't know what that, I don't know what that was, but you get what I'm saying. You know, trying to backpedal, cover your tracks, and just say I was joking, just because, you know, there's always that potential chance that maybe somebody was joking about something and it went a little too far. If that, ha if that happens often where your friend's just like, I'm joking, and he keeps saying things that are really bothering you, uh, th that's kind of questionable. And, you know, at the end of the day, guys, um, you know, people who manipulate, they'll fall back on tactics to get them out of a situation, such as playing the victim, joking, all these other kind of stuff, gaslighting, you know, making you feel like you're, you're wrong and all this kind of stuff, and you know, at the end of the day, guys, it's all based on the situation. It's all based on the situation that you've been put in, and how you get out of it's really up to you. So at the end of the day, guys, I hope this information was helpful, and if it was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you do want to see more videos about this, where I give you guys knowledge, information, this kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying, then just let me know in the comments below. I, I realize I've been trying a lot of new things on this channel, and that's okay, you know? It's 2019, it's time to change. T my channel is malleable now. So, with that being said, I'm gonna head off, so be careful who you're friends with, keep an eye out for manipulation, and I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, take care, and have a great day. See ya! Again, I want to quickly thank From Japan for sponsoring today's video. Whether you want to get babe products like I did, anime figures, or any other kind of Japanese stuff, I totally recommend you go with From Japan. And don't forget to use the coupon code that's on your screen that will help you get your free purchasing plan and also shave a little bit of money off your order. All that info, again, will be down in the description below.